When you're building an island home surrounded by beautiful beaches and filled with such rich history, you want to pay careful attention to the exterior spaces. When it comes to landscaping in a coastal community like this, you really have to pick the flora that's going to survive. You've got a salty air, and so you'll find that most of the plants around the dream home are evergreen, and they're going to do just fine. But one of my favorite details is that every single large room in the house has window boxes. And so as you look out of these beautiful multi-pane double-hung windows, you're always going to get a strip of green to soften the boundary between landscape and architecture. One of the more surprising details about the HGTV Dream Home is that every main room has its own bluestone patio. So that's the master bedroom, each of the two side bedrooms, and the main living room space, which is such a luxury. In the summer months, you wouldn't believe how beautiful the weather is here, and those patios are going to get a lot of usage. All of the patio furniture is made of teak, which weathers beautifully over the years, just like the cedar on the house. Durable cushions and cozy blankets make these outdoor spaces the chosen hangout spots any day of the week. And before you relax on one of the awesome patios, you can wash off in the private outdoor shower, complete with a high-tech sprayer, a bench, and multiple antique towel hooks. Plus, it wouldn't be an HGTV dream home without a Cape Cod-style house for our four-legged friends. This year's Doggy Dream Home is an almost exact replica of the much larger people-sized version. It was done by the architect. It was scaled down, and the architect did it, and it was, it was like a playhouse. So we did it just a little smaller. We did it like 20% smaller. It's got the same details. It will have the same siding, the same shingles. Um, have a little cupola on top with a little dog weather vane. 